Because you know, in order to be your best, you really have to make sacrifices. And one of those sacrifices is to do the right thing. And uh, alcohol, drugs have no place in order to be the best you can be. It started with um, a small group of students and then we kind of added on um, athletes who really wanted to make a difference in the school. We saw a need for there to be kind of a more spirit put in, back into athletics, more community put back into athletics, especially our school community. And um, Ms. Bernard and Mr. Powers kind of used life of an athlete, which is an NHIA program, to, um, you know... Like kickstart. Yeah, kickstart that program. I had a couple of guys on the team that were very influential. They were Nick White and Austin Smith. They were really excited about it. I could see their enthusiasm. It built and this leadership committee came together and wow. I think we're just trying to create this different, more passionate environment in athletics, our school and our community. Um, we're giving back to the community through um, you know, the equipment drive, we're going to be donating money to the Boys and Girls Club. Um, we're going to be getting younger athletes from middle schools and um, rec programs just interested in Pinkerton Athletics so that we get, we get little kids interested in the athletics, but not just the kids coming up, but also the community around us. I think we also want to bring spirit and like the fact that like nutrition and sleep is actually like a major part of athletics and that actually can make a huge difference in how you play and perform and how you should not you should stay away from drugs and alcohol like for your team and yourself. To give the students a different option when it comes to ways to handle and deal with drugs and alcohol and, and anything we can do to help uh, students with those kind of situations is a good thing because it's not easy being a, being a teenager and forced with the, the pressures that you guys are forced with. Number one, it's a healthy lifestyle, which is probably more important than athletic performance. But then, all these guys are motivated to be the best they can be. The only way that's going to happen is abstaining from alcohol and drug use and living that healthy lifestyle. The best part about the pledge is that it's not mandatory. You're signing that, you know, you're holding yourself accountable just because you want to make a difference not only for yourself but for your team as well. And it's awesome because not only the <coughs> athletes sign it, but usually the coaches will sign it too so that makes it that the whole team is really committed so the coaches will be substance free during the season and it's awesome that they can really do that all together and experience that and that just makes them really strong. So. So I guess it's one of the few places where peer pressure is actually kind of good. Yeah. I know for me to be the best runner I can be, I need to abstain from alcohol and drugs. And as teachers and coaches, don't we role model behavior for our student athletes? I do see this program making a big difference in the school. I think uh, anything we can do to, to help the students uh, to better edu educate them when it comes to the different lifestyle choices, the, the proper nutrition, drugs and alcohol, um, to make a difference with one student, I think it, it made a big difference there. It's going to make a huge difference. It's already starting to make a difference. And I think as long as we have people who are motivated and willing to go to distance to be the best leaders they can be, the best people they can be, the best athletes they can be, then it's going to go, you know, through the roof.